Check this out. An original Rosie the Riveter who was on the front lines during World War II. She's now on the front lines of the coronavirus, and ABC's David Wright has her story. I'm 94 years old and felt well and healthy, thank God. May Cryer was just 17 when Pearl Harbor was bombed. I built B-17s and B-29s at Boeing in Seattle during World War II. And during the Korean War, I worked during the Korean War. She's one of hundreds of American women who became heroes on the home front, taking jobs on assembly lines while their brothers and sons went off to war. Rosie, Rosie, Rosie. Rosie the Riveter, immortalized in poster and song. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie the Riveter. Cryer is still working today. I used to work with the rivet gun, now I'm working with the sewing machine. <laughs> right. Making face masks these days, more than 300 so far. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a variety. This is my favorite. The polka dot bandana, helpful to Rosie for keeping her hair out of the machinery. Now it has an entirely new purpose in the age of COVID-19. It seems to me that wearing a little face mask it's not a big sacrifice, but uh, right. that's my opinion. The message, still the same. I think that you're going to have to make a new a new poster with uh, with one of these. Uh, I got that. We can do it if we all do our part. We can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like those Our thanks to David Wright. Great. great story right there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.